How's it going for Real Family Coach? Zach here to chat with you guys about Tuesday's Metcon. Hope everybody has had an amazing start to their week. We're going to kick things off today with a longer AMRAP. We're going to have five jump. If you have a box, there'll be a box jump over. If you do not have a box, it'll be any of our at-home jump series. So regular plyometric jumps, load with those knees out, big jump to all. Land in that same position. Tough jumps are also going to be fine. Load, jump, pull those knees high. Broad jumps will also be acceptable. Same load position. We're going to get big extension as we jump forward. Landing soft, again with those knees out. So five of any of our jump series. Uh, if you do have a box, box jump over is what we're going to shoot for. Right into 50 double unders or 100 singles. Remember, we're focused on keeping those ribs tucked down just a little bit, and instead of thumbs pointing straight out, we want them to point forward at about a 45 degree angle. This is gonna help us smack the ground, whether we're doing single unders or double unders. So keep those thumbs, come up close to the camera, keep those thumbs turned forward a little bit. That's gonna create that downward rotation toward the floor, make sure that rope smacks the floor every single time, and that's gonna ensure that it passes under our feet. From there, we are gonna go 10 single arm sumo deadlift high pull, kettlebell, dumbbell, whichever you choose. It'll be five on the left, five on the right. If you have a bar at home, it'll just be 10. Remember, we wanna get nice and stacked up, knees over those ankles, in that sumo position, come down. If we are using a single object, single arm object rather, dumbbell or kettlebell, put it right in between those feet. So split your feet evenly. We're gonna come down, we're gonna keep that object close. We're gonna drive through the floor with those legs and at the top, every single rep, elbow, wrist, thumb, and collarbone. So five, sumo deadlift high pull per side, and then we're gonna do a 100 meter front rack carry, 50 meters in one hand, 50 meters in the other, and then we're gonna do another 100 meters where we're gonna go suitcase carry. So if we have a kettlebell, we're gonna get it to where our thumb lays right in that first crook, keep that forearm and wrist tucked in, and you'll see how that bell really sits right there in that good V. So we're gonna go 50 meters, front rack carry one side, we'll switch, 50 meters front rack carry the other side, then we'll go 50 meters suitcase carry. As always, keep that shoulder rolled back, keep space between your elbow and your side, 50 meters other hand for suitcase carry, and repeat. Hope you guys have fun. Long workout today, pace, pace, pace. All right, try to be moving at the same speed and intensity at the 15 minute mark as you are at the five. Hope you guys have a ton of fun. I'll see you back here tomorrow for more workouts.